Well, hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome back to Cyphernetics. Well, today we're talking about Star Trek Discovery Season 5. We have a bunch of new stuff to talk about today. We have an air date as to when the new season, final season in fact, will be airing. We've got another sneak peek scene from the first episode of Season 5. And we've got some promo photos to have a look at as well, which sort of showcase the cast in Season 5 of Star Trek Discovery. So we're going to check out all of those bits and pieces today. It's been quite a while since we've had any uh, updates on Star Trek news on the on the live action front. Obviously the the strikes from the writers and the actors and everything in Hollywood have sort of delayed things uh, a little bit. Even though Discovery was basically finished you know ages and ages ago uh, in terms of its production and post-production schedule, they've kind of held it off. I think it was probably meant to air towards the end of uh, 23 but obviously they've um, held things off till uh, the early 24 because of all that stuff that went on. So for starters, we have the air day. Well, it's an air month. Star Trek Discovery Season 5, the final season of the show, will be airing in April of 2024. I kind of thought we might have got it a fraction earlier than April. I sort of thought, uh, based on uh, when Picard started to air and everything, uh, and previous iterations of Star Trek that have always kind of tended to start more so around the February or March kind of mark. I thought that's probably where uh, we would be falling for this. But no, they've held it off until April. So we're, we're almost creeping you know, towards more the middle of the year rather than early in the year having April as the air month. But, you know, at least we're getting it uh, in the first quarter of next year, which is something. Before we take a look at the sneak peek scene uh, from the uh, the first episode, here's a promo photo of the cast for season five. So from uh, left to right, we see Book and we've got Tilly there behind him. Obviously, Saru, Burnham, Dr. Culber, Stamets, Adira, and our new captain, Rainer. Rainer is the only uh, new cast member here in this cast promotional photo. Everybody else obviously were season regulars uh, from the previous season. I think Tilly's rocking a slightly different hairstyle for season five based on uh, her look for season four. And also Adira is looking a little bit different too, uh, I guess now that they are maybe a little bit further down the road with the whole transitioning process and everything, uh, they look a little bit different there in this photo as well for the new season. We haven't had any information yet about the the race that Captain Rayner is playing. Obviously his ears and the sides of his face uh, indicate he's an alien of some description, but we haven't had any concrete information about what kind of alien uh, he is or whereabouts he's from. Okay, next up we're going to take a look at this sneak peek scene, which kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, the opening to season four. Obviously season four opened with uh, Burnham and uh, Book on a bit of a uh, away mission trying to make contact with that butterfly species of people who got a bit aggressive towards them and they ended up in a bit of a, a shootout. Well, it kind of looks like we've got a similar scenario here uh, for season five, which I'm guessing is for episode one of season five, where we see Burnham and Book on an away mission in some kind of quarry. They're being uh, attacked by uh, some native creatures from the planet there, which aren't taking their presence in their Ter territory particularly well and they're getting shot at and attacked by uh, these aliens so so let's take a look um, at the sneak peek scene and as we go we'll have a bit of a chat about it and um, see what we might be up for in what I'm guessing is one of the early episodes of season five Really pissed off. So it looks like they're uh, they're trying to get to something here that, that they uh, they need to uh, acquire, and the uh, and the domain that they're uh, they're in, there are these gigantic cloaked. I guess bees. <laughs> they're uh, they're cloaked. They look like very formidable uh, creatures. And we've got Book using his Doctor Doolittle powers, I suppose you'd call them, uh, where he's able to uh, commune with animals in some kind of fashion. And these particular animals aren't particularly friendly. Time for Plan B then. On the count of three. Is it on three or after three? Second option. One, two, three, go. Hey! Can we just go then? So 
we've got Burnham and Book here, maybe giving a bit of a uh, bit of a homage to the Lethal Weapon series. I think uh, the whole, you know, uh, let's go on three. Uh, do we go on three? Or do we go after three? Uh, that was kind of a running gag, if I remember correctly, in the whole Lethal Weapon series of films with Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. They were always debating as to whether they went on three or after three or whatever the case was. So I guess there's a bit of that going on. We're also seeing the site-to-site transport system uh, using to quite great effect here, where they're able to, I, I'm not sure exactly how they work out where they're beaming to. I mean, do they just kind of think about where I want to beam to over there, so I'll just think about it and tap my Tricom badge or whatever that activates the site-to-site -site transporter, which makes me uh, materialize exactly where I want to. We haven't kind of seen it used in a tactical sense before uh, in order to, to beam in and out of, 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 a, of a sticky situation uh, instantaneously, which I guess is a, is a pretty logical use of that system. And we also see these uh, the stingers on these uh, gigantic cloaked bees, um, you know, firing them at book. He's dodging uh, and, uh, and this doesn't look like you'd want to get hit by these things. These look like they would quite hurt if you got stung by, uh, by this creature. <laughs> Looks like uh, Michael is trying to open up some sort of, um, I don't know, hidden Indiana Jones-esque kind of uh, uh, hidden secret vaulty kind of thing or something. There's a there's an inscription on on a rock, um, and she's trying to I don't know open it or or, or access something or. Um, whatever the case may be, but I wonder whether this is linked to this artifact or whatever it is that they're hunting down this season, this sort of, uh, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark style adventure we're going on, which sees a bunch of uh, different, you know, people, you know, obviously the Discovery crew and other aliens all trying to hunt down some sort of artifact. Maybe there's a clue here that they're, they're hunting for, perhaps, um, that requires them to access this particular site that's guarded by these giant cloaked bees. And obviously Book gets hit in the leg with one of the sticks that looks like it's gonna hurt. So it seems like a, a medical uh, emergency, a medical evac will uh, be necessary for him um, because they obviously get surrounded by these bees at the end there uh, and we're not quite sure what happens next, but it looks like they might need some, uh, some backup of some kind or some form of emergency transport. The other thing I noticed with this uh, quarry scene uh, in this sneak peek scene is it looks like they've used this very old-fashioned cinematic technique of shooting day for night. And it always looks a bit hokey, if you ask me. It's where they film during the middle of the day and then colour grade the footage uh, to make it seem like it's night time when it's really shot during the day. They sort of darken the image, make it seem like it's a full moon. They always try to make it pass off as if it's in the middle of the night, but it never quite works. And to me, it always looks really artificial, like it obviously is shot during the day and it's just been color graded uh, to look like it's uh, it's night time. But nonetheless, it looks like it's a bit of an exciting adventure. As I said, kind of, you know, similar kind of, uh, if it is in fact the opening to season five, kind of in a similar ballpark to uh, the opening to season four with the whole butterfly people and everything, um, with Book and Burnham you know, on an away mission again. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't start in exactly the same way. It kind of feels like we're potentially treading on, um, you know, similar territory uh, in terms of, what to open the season with. Uh, so I'm hoping this is, you know, further into the first episode, perhaps, or might even, who knows, might even be from episode two. Um, but nonetheless, it looks like an exciting sequence. But guys, let me know what you think. What do you think of the April air date for Discovery Season 5? Uh, what did you think of the little sneak peek scene we've had a look at here? Leave your thoughts in the comments section and we'll get chatting about that. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Sci Fanatics yet, don't be shy to do so. Please click on that uh, big subscribe button to stay current and up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. And uh, be sure to check out my merch in the merch store. Plenty of cool t-shirt designs, hoodies, mugs, caps, stickers, all plenty of stuff there. Star Trek and other sci-fi as well. Pick yourself up a bargain and, uh, and it helps support the channel as well. I'll be back really soon with my next video. I'll catch you guys soon.